Today, the North Carolina Health Department is going to try to clear up uh, instructions for distributing the COVID-19 vaccine. Wake up, Charlotte. It's Billie Jean Shaw joining us live. So, Billie Jean, this whole thing's coming after a, a growing frustration from local counties saying that they're not getting the doses that they actually need. It's really a mess, Carolyn, because you could imagine someone watching at home right now who's been trying to get an appointment, but they keep running into a brick wall. It's really because the state does not have enough doses to fulfill the high demand of vaccine appointments. As of tomorrow, North Carolina will have only 120,000 COVID-19 vaccine doses to allocate across the entire state. A majority of those doses are committed to the large-scale events planned several weeks ago to address the backlog in vaccine. But as a result, many providers are getting little or no doses sent to their county. Supplies are so low in both Stanley and Lincoln counties, the health departments in those areas have stopped accepting appointments. In other counties, limited supply is caused the number of limited appointments to fill up very fast. <laughs> Mecklenburg County is booked through February 20th. Cleveland County is completely booked for the rest of the week. And in Rowan, 300 spots were available for Wednesday, and those were completely booked within 10 minutes yesterday. I wish the state would consider is a set allotment so we know at a minimum we'd be getting say 300 every single week. The North Carolina Healthcare Association is now stepping in to defend local health departments. In an open letter to Governor Roy Cooper, the group is calling for the governor to address these issues immediately, simplifying the state's data logging system, advocating to the federal government for allocations specific for mass vaccination events, and making allocations consistent. At some point today, we are expecting to hear from North Carolina health officials. They say they plan on discussing a more detailed process when it comes to rolling out vaccines. And they are trying to tell everyone that they ensure transparency and certainty when it comes to this plan. So we'll definitely keep you updated about that. Ben, Carolyn.